Welcome back to Simply Nook. I'm Sean, your senior support technician. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to download and run your very own MEM test. Today, what you will need is a USB flash drive. That way we can make it a bootable USB flash drive for your MEM test program. What we will also need is a program called Rufus that'll help you build a bootable USB key. First thing we're gonna go ahead and do is open up a Google page. We're gonna to go to Google. We're gonna type in memtest86. All right, it's gonna be this one here, and we're gonna go ahead and click the download link here. All right, it's gonna bring us to the Passmark software, memtest86, and we can download the free version here. We're gonna go ahead and click that. It's gonna download for us. We can go ahead and close this out. And what we'll do is open up Rufus. All right, now that it's here, we're gonna take our USB. We're gonna plug in our USB. Because it's asking which device you want it. This is our drive here. Now we are going to make sure that it's disk or an ISO image. We're gonna select, we are going to select our Memtest 86. Now that we have Memtest 86 selected, we're gonna go ahead and click Start. All data on the device will be destroyed. That's fine, we're gonna go ahead and click OK. And now we will let it download. Now that it has finished downloading, the mem test key is ready to use. We can go ahead and close this down and we are gonna go ahead and run a mem test on this. So we are going to give our computer a restart. We're gonna go ahead and run our brand new mem test key and we are going to test our RAM. So let's go ahead and turn our PC on. We are going to go into the boot options. That is very important. So for mo the majority of Intel's, it'll be F10. Uh, for the Ruby here, it is F11, and it's gonna bring up our boot options, and we are going to boot to that USB key. So I'm gonna select the USB key, and I'm gonna hit enter. It is now bringing up the mem test program for us. Now you can let it run here automatically or you can go into the configuration. Um, typically just letting it run automatically is fine. And as you can see here, this is running your test for you. There is four passes, dependent upon the amount of RAM you have in the unit, depends on how long it's gonna take. 64 gigs of RAM, it's gonna take a few hours. Uh, if you're running a four gig stick of RAM only, 30, 15 to 30 minutes for this mem test to run. The way you can tell if there's any type of errors is it'll be very obvious. It'll start spitting errors out and you'll see them all in lines of code down here in bright red letters. If you are running into errors, it means that you have a bad stick of RAM, you can go ahead and replace it. Um, or if it's not needed, you can go ahead and remove it and run a single stick. Now, in order to stop this, you can just go ahead and control alt delete. That'll reboot it completely and get you back into your regular boot process, which will take you to your Windows or your Linux environment. And that is how you build and run a mem test. Thank you again for choosing Simply Enough.